we came out here today to uh, rig a nice bounce line and play with my shiny new dynamometer and see what kind of forces we got on a bounce high line. So we started by uh, getting it pretty much as tight as we could with a nine to one hangover multiplier. I think we got it up to, what was it, like three and a half kilonewtons. The line did start losing a lot of tension immediately after we tensioned it. Crazy. Yeah, which you can probably attribute to, to the stretch of the webbing, just kind of um, letting out some of that tension, it's settling. So at around 3.15, I think I went out there and got on, and when I was on it, standing tension was, what, four and a quarter, 4.25, and then I went out, bounced in the middle, and took like the largest whip I could. I got 6.11 on the first session. So when I tied in, like I said, it was 3.15, and we went and bounced, whipped. When I got off, it had gone all the way down to 1.95. So it lost over a full kilonewton, which is kind of crazy. So then after that, we retensioned it back to 3.25 kilonewtons, and then Justin went out. I think you got 6.2 something in a whip, and then in your rocket mounts. When you dropped down, you got up to 6.78. We thought the, the biggest force would be when someone whipped. Yeah. But it was actually when I dropped down into a rocket mount, uh, which I guess is a more efficient way to put force on the line. Yeah, peak forces were maybe a little higher than expected. Mm -hmm. Caleb actually offered to uh, pay me $1 if I <laughs> whipped over six kilonewtons. So, so we did that really fast. So we did so. that really fast, so I guess you owe me a dollar. Yeah. But that just goes to show, you know, when you're freestyling especially, it's probably the scenario in which we're putting the most tension on the lines and we have the weakest webbing. Yeah. So to think that we're getting up to upwards of 6.75 kilonewtons and you know on pink tube, it breaks at 19 in the sewn loops. I mean, that gives us a pretty low safety factor. And then if you even think about the degradation of the webbing over time, if you have it rigged for a couple of days, UV, like that breaking strength is gonna go down but the force you put on is gonna be the same. So like our safety factors in highline bouncing, like I think we should be shooting for four at least. And knowing that we can easily get up to 6.75 to seven kilonewtons when it's tensioned and we're really bouncing it, I don't wanna bounce on anything lower than 28, 29 in my personal opinion. And that's when we had this one. We had Nylov, which is high 20s. I feel like that's gonna to, gotta to be the lowest strength. I mean, pink tube obviously feels amazing, but it's not a high safety factor. It's definitely worth thinking about what the breaking strength of your webbing is. Nylon perma freestyle lines may not be the smartest idea because our, we're really pushing our safety ratios here. But yeah, interesting test, interesting stuff. Beavers and wagers out. Don't worry about twists. Don't worry about anything. <laughs>